And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Jace prologue here in Path of Champions. We just played the Jinx prologue. It was really cool. Uh, chat decided to uh, play Jace up next and the Jace one's a uh, really fun one to see Jace. So, um, you know, we have these five champions that these are the five that have the story ones, the prologues. Um, definitely recommend playing through all five of them because you do get free champion cards when you're playing them. So, you know, if you don't have Jaces, because you need two Jaces to be able to play it, I just use some wild cards on them right now. Um, but if you don't, if you don't have those, then play through them. You get actually, you actually get extra copies of, all, uh, you get two copies of all five of these champions when you play through them. So, you know, that's 10 free champion cards. That's awesome. So that's really cool that we're doing that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and, and just go ahead and play uh, Legends of Runeterra's newest champion, Jace. So let's see what his deck looks like. Haven't checked this out yet. So we have Thermogenic Beam, Forge Chief. Oh yeah, that new card. That card's awesome. Eager Apprentice, Mystic Shock, Golem Crush Bot. The Forge of Tomorrow. It's another good looking landmark. Pharaoh Sky Cruiser. Okay. Then we got Jace, Assembly Line. That gets us two Forge Workers and Shock Blast. Okay, let's go ahead and start our adventure. Victor. Okay, so whenever you're leveling up your uh, champion, you know, we'll be able to go other places, but it looks like we're going to be having Victor as our boss to start with. So Jace's Adventure, difficulty zero. That doesn't sound very difficult. <laughs> Jace gears up for another Progress Day exhibition. This year, he plans to seal the show with his revolutionary slingshot technology. But an academic rival has other ideas. Okay, let's see how we do. Hmm. If you're sitting there thinking that the guy who perfected Hextech would know exactly how Hextech worked, here goes. You'd be wrong. <laughs> You'd be wrong. I see your spark machine is working very well indeed. Oh, the gathered crowds would be delighted. Yeah, very funny, Professor. So the displacement slingshot neither displaces nor slingshots, hmm? When it works, it works great. I'm just having trouble regulating the power surges. Surely an eminently solvable problem for Piltover's man of tomorrow. <laughs> That's you. Fortunate, seen as tomorrow is progress day and your invention's grand unveiling. <laughs> no pressure, huh? Oh, from hydraulics to thermodynamics, pressure is the very thing that powers much of Piltover. Why, pressure converts coal into diamonds, gaussite into hexite, and theoretical propositions into practical applications. Dude, Heimer's so cool. Good luck, my boy. My boy. All right, we're gonna need your luck. All right, so we got home sweet home. All right, let's kind of scroll out. Let's see what we got. Okay, so, oh, we're going to be facing Heimer. And then finally, Victor. Cool background. Let's go to the Hextech Observatory. The mines here are so brilliant, they're practically incandescent. All right. Okay, Stream Noodles said, just finished a different Jinx run. The 30 health gave me the S rank. Okay, so I needed to, yes, yeah, so we got to, you got to have full health. To get that S rank at the end, good to know. Um, which I could have finished at 30 health, you know. I I definitely could have. Yeah, you know, I decided to just make a chump block. So good to know for later. Um, let's go ahead and send that back. Send that back. We'll keep this assembly line. Kind of planning on playing assembly line on round three. I guess we may want to play assembly line on round four. If we want to play the forge of tomorrow on. I guess maybe, no, maybe we're not playing until five. All right, we'll get to play you, that's nice. Yeah, your apprentice is important. Okay, so I'm gonna play Jace. And then Let's go Challenger Jace. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. Sure, boss. I'll just block. Let's go, people. 
I chose Challenger Jace to take down this elusive, you know, because they had the elusive patched Poro Bont. I guess you could have dealt three to it. But let's get some three threes. Wait, so what do you, happens? Destroy me. Oh yeah, and refill your spell mana. Okay. Right. So. Let's get started. All right, let's do this. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Okay, so we're gonna play this other six mana spell next round so we can level up Jace because we haven't seen a Jace level up yet. So let's go ahead and do that. We should kill them and level up Jace both. <laughs> and then it has the hammer too. Nice. That's pretty sweet. And Piltover is on pretty cool. Now that's what I call progress. That did seem like progress. Okay. What do we got? Want some tech? Want a station archivist? Or want larger forge chief? All pretty good options. All pretty good options. I'm going to take this tech because this card's new and looks pretty cool. So it's going to have challenger and quick attack. That's a good combination of cards. Or like good combination of keywords, sorry. We got a new power. Whoa. Uh, we could grant things fury. Sure. All of our stuff will have fury. And there'll be dragons. Because now we have... Um, the challenger quick attack, they'll have fury also. That's pretty cool. Round start, if has the attack token, refill one spell mana. All right, eager apprentice. So they'll refill a spell mana every time we have the attack token. That's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and just send all of these back. We'll just keep Mystic Shot. Mystic Shot's a good uh, good spell. Very versatile. But those other cards are just like super average. You know, we want our champion and good curve out. Shock Blast. Safety mode. <laughs> Didn't build one. That's rude. Shooting my face. All right, we'll go ahead and use the Shock Blast on both of them, because then that's, that'll be a six-cost spell. Our first six-cost spell. Ooh. So it's the plus one, plus one, because we played a six-cost spell. And then it has Challenger, Quick Attack, and Fury. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll just use a thermal beam. This Hextech handler is sweet. It's the upgraded golden crush bot. Right, we'll go and play you. You're going to be a big elusive that can block that elusive. And it is down to one card. I'm gonna give you quick attack. Nothing beats field testing. Oh, I have two mana left. How can I help? Sorry, eager apprentice. Oh, and that only does damage to the followers, not to the champions. Alright, and they're down to seven. I could just skip this and just go to the attack, <laughs> because I don't really have to play that kind of stuff, but oh well. 
But let's have our uh, our good Hextech Handler do the lethal damage there. Perfect. Okay, two down here with Jace. Yeah, that shock that shock blast is great. I don't love really any of these. I think I'm going to just take Eager Apprentice and just have Eager Apprentice draw more card. You know, draw a card. Drawing cards is always good. And and with our deck of just like the emphasis on having six plus cost spells, we do need a good amount of spell mana. So we'll just have the Eager Apprentice. Lux? Or Heimer? Why are you making me make these choices? Oh, Lux or Heimer? You know, Heimer is like Lux is like Jace's friend and all that stuff, but Lux, you know, just goes so well with Jace. I'll take Lux because we're gonna face Heimer later. I guess that would be weird if we're Heimer and face Heimer. That would be weird. So if we so I think we'll just take Lux then. Oh, chat's saying that I should have taken Heimer. Alright, well we're definitely gonna get like, you know, a purple question mark, like an epic question mark, we're definitely going to go that way. Or an exclamation mark. Oh, because I have the tech card that would have been great with Heimer. That's true. That's true. I just don't want to have Heimer face Heimer. You don't need any Heimer on Heimer crimes. Okay, this looks like a good hand. I will keep. Plus, we get to redouble Valor Jace. Like, that, sounds pretty, that sounds pretty sweet. Ow. Our Nexus has taken a little bit of a beating. How can I help? Uh, excuse me? Hmm. I just threw away the quick attack. When a foe summons an ally unit with a subtype, grant it plus one plus zero. Man, we are taking some damage here. So this is the thing that's making these three ones instead of two ones. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. Augment Poro. Augmented Poro. Wow. We can do this. Okay. So you're just going to trade. I'll have you trade there. You can kill that thing. That thing's elusive. That's elusive. Step aside. So you can kill that. So we're taking seven, eight, no, seven. Wow, we're taking some damage here. Redouble Valor. All right, so assembly line's definitely the better play. But I just wanted to play Redouble Valor, not gonna lie. <laughs> Got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great, we're running into heat issues. What you got? Oh, okay, up. so you're gonna kill that one. All right, so we'll just. All right, so we're gonna shoot the, this elusive. By the light. So Jace is basically Shivana plus Screeching Dragon. <laughs> Put them together. 
Hextech Handler. All right, Jace, level up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and try Acceleration Gate next round because we haven't, you know, this is a new card. We haven't tried out, let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna get some keywords. Replicating the power spike. So they get Quick Attack first. Cool. Handler got overwhelmed. Awesome. Got a life steal. 18 power life steal. Powering up. Illuminate the enemy. All right, back to 24. All good. Our deck's not looking as good as our Jinx deck. This is tough. Cause I, all right, so we add two copies of the card to the deck. I think we're going to just choose the Handler, because I want to add two more copies of the Handler to my deck. I like the Handler a lot. So we're just going to choose that, even though I don't know if like the, the Fearsome isn't a very important keyword. All right, travel on over to the healer. Because you can't go backwards in this mode, so you might as well just heal while you can. It's There's no going back. All right, we're facing Heimer. Oh, I missed the other mode! Or the other node! So I just skipped over it, didn't I? I was just focused on the, the healing, and no, we had the epic question mark that I just skipped over. That's my bad. It was Jace's artifact node. Help me iron out. Of course, my boy. Like Jinx's cost reduction gun that we had the first time. Oh man. Take a look. And I just missed it. No, you can't go back now. Yeah, no. Once I since I missed it, I missed it. I'm on it. There's no going back. How can I help? That's super sad. That okay, we're gonna let this. Um, I don't think I want to use a thermo beam. We're gonna have to take some damage. You'll go no farther. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. No, we are not fine. We are not fine. Well, this could be going better. This could be going better. So I want Lux in play before we start playing our six plus cost thermogenic beams. Hmm. 
This is looking terrible. This is looking terrible. All right, so the final spark is going to kill Heimer. Never back down from what you believe. I guess this is all we do. Treasure Trash could be pretty cool. Yeah, kind of one short of everything. Let's go ahead and just attack in. Yeah, they block. It's basically getting one of these things out of here with that barrier. I mean, I have to kill this Adaptatron, <laughs> you know, like, that's the card that I've been wanting to kill, you know, so we had to use that. Alright, now we kill this thing also. Why are these things so big? Hextech Handler? Oh, because they played two Handlers. Okay, okay. Wow, they are aggro. All right, so we're down to nine. But Jace will save the day. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Oh, Jace is bugged. Or Jace is just gonna sit here. Got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Oh, great. We're running into heat issues. What you got? Alright, so we're gonna use the acceleration gate. Go ahead and get quick attack on both of them, and then an additional keyword. So the Jace will have quick attack challenger. Um, well, it's too late to pull that back now. Okay. So we're gonna be fine. But we're gonna be at nine after this battle. Heimer really took us. You know, like that that's a challenge. You know, this was a challenge. Heimer really got us. Treasure trash. How often, how often do we get to play this card? Oh, we get to double it? Double treasure trash? Too bad you can only fill your hand once. <laughs> so the second one doesn't do anything. Okay, what do we have? Alright, kind of a whole bunch of nothing. Alright, we'll go and Blossoming Blade. Get some little Fury Blades. They block one. Which means now we can Noxion Guillotine. And we'll go ahead and Reforge. Oh, I can only play three of them. Right. I forgot about that part of the card. All right, double blast. Testing. Let's get started. Okay, so we're down to nine. They got us from 30 to nine. And yeah, we can't go back. Missed out on that uh, artifact. Yeah, the Renekton emote's pretty good whenever they lose. Whenever you hit them for lethal. Okay, so Mystic Shots can heal our Nexus. That's good. Oh, or we could give... We could get more Handlers and give them tough. I like that choice, too. I like both of these. We kind of need a... Oh, you will also receive 21 health. Okay, so we're, we are just getting auto-healed right now. For beating uh, the boss. With beating Heimer, that boss. So we're going to go back up to 30. 
So let's go ahead and let's just keep buffing up these handlers. Let's just keep getting more of them. All right, back to 30. Yeah, and I can't go back. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Well, I'll be. Fine work, my boy. Fine work indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. What? Who's that? They were my capacitors after all. Gesture of goodwill, as you say. Oh, that's Get Victor. Out of here, Professor. I'll handle this. I am not here to fight, old friend. I am here with a proposal. Tomorrow is progress day, and I have research to share that would benefit all people. We are all too familiar with your vision of progress, Victor. I will not hear of your machine evolution theory one more. Please, read this. Jace? Allow me to show my old home a true vision of progress. Ooh. It looks pretty interested in those papers. All right, so how will our story end? Will we accept Victor's proposal or refuse Victor's proposal? Except we get two armed gearhead at the beginning of the game. If we refuse, we get this Hextech Observatory at the beginning of the game. Uh, if it says Aka says if Jace doubles the spell with Karma, are there four spells or just three? I think just three. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that. Yeah, I think it's just three. So each round, the first time you cast a spell, refill mana equal to its cost. Refill mana equal to its cost? Not even spell mana? Alright, I am sorry, Victor. We will have to refuse your proposal. Okay, yeah, good point. Karma only copies the played spells. Oh, So this power reduced the cost of a random card in both players' hand to zero this round both players hand that's pretty cool so we're gonna have random cards cost zero and then we're also gonna refill mana equal to different spells cost crazy all right we're gonna get rid of you you're not a spell but we'll keep the rest because our handlers like our best card and then our eager apprentice draws a card i'm looking for victor meow 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 well, now that you mention it. Broke my hand, so I got a new one. Wow, did you see that? Oh. Mischief and mayhem. Take a look at these. Plug and play. Do you have zero mana lux? So we need a 6 plus cost spell. I should have blocked with the Mage Seeker Conservator that other round. But it's pretty likely that they are going to be... Uh, let's go and give this Challenger. It's pretty likely they're going to be attacking again. Yeah, they always attack. Alright, so you're going to die. You can just go ahead and... Let's see. Five, you block there, you block here, you block here. Alright. We want the Mage Seer Conservator to die. Oh, give it all. Cost too much mana. Man, we're still one mana short of playing this give it all. Triple Handler. <laughs> Dude, our, t our handlers are awesome. Yeah, we have to give it all to... <laughs> to boot. And then that just refills eight mana. Alright, so they're all five fives. 
with Tough, Challenger, Fearsome, Quick Attack, and Fury. And now Final Sparks, that's a cool update they did, that now Final Sparks can just deal damage to the enemy Nexus. That's pretty sweet. Um, I'm gonna just play you. Sorry, Landmark, we don't really need you anymore. I just wanna draw a card, okay. That card's not great either. Sure. Well, I had this thing in play also. Could We could have had these all have elusive, but... That's alright. Okay, our deck's definitely looking a lot better now. <laughs> Especially when we had, like, round two luck and stuff. Gonna mark today down as a success. Yeah, that was a success. Go and mark that down. Okay. When cast, grant the top ally in your deck power and health equal to my cost. I want this unyielding spirit. Because I just want you know, more 6 plus cost spells. As we saw that, that last game, we didn't have that many. I mean, having a removal spell plus draw card is not bad though either. So I could see going with the concerted strike. Maybe we just do that. Removal spell plus draw card, but it costs 5, not 6. It's just... We're, let's just go greedy. <laughs> let's just go on Yielding Spirit. It's very greedy to take that. Okay, we can buy some stuff at the shop. Hey, we have enough coins for everything. How about that? So, Jace is going to have plus three, plus one. The Cruiser now has tough. And Forge Chief has plus one, plus three. So that's going to be a three, four now. Awesome. We will take all that. Okay, we can either heal or protect. Well, you can't go backwards, but I think we could travel to the healer. Oh, no, we can't can't go over there. Okay, so that, that does count as going backwards. Okay, well, that's too bad. All right, Victor, we're, we're fighting. Send you back, send you back. Keep you two. Basically keep the buff cards and the non-buff cards back. And with this new displacement technology, we'll be able to travel across the world and Enough of this inconsequential foolishness! I will show you a true vision of progress. Uh-oh. Victor's so scary. What can I say? I'm an adaptable guy. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Coming through. All right, so we're probably going to be. Man, that strike refill of spell man is pretty good. All right, so I think we're playing the handler on three, Jace on four, Lux on five, and then starting. Then we start playing our six plus cost spells. We're working here. Uh, I'm not going to be able to have 30 health at the end of this game, I don't think, so I'm not going to be able to get S you know, an S-tier ranking on that. Unless we hit lifesteal again. You know, like whenever Jace levels up. Alright, let's give Jace a quick attack so that whenever we play Jace's spell, whenever Jace levels up, this acceleration gates, we can maybe hit... Um, let's challenge you. Watch your backs. We can maybe hit lifesteal. So I didn't want to trade for two, because like I don't get to refill the spell mana, they would refill the spell mana. I didn't really want to make that trade. Zero regrets. Can you improve perfection? 
All right, so I'm gonna give Jace can't take damage or die because we refill our mana for the first time, right? So let's go ahead and refill our mana, give our top ally in our deck plus eight, plus eight. Spell shield, cool. The sun is shining. We should too. Can you improve perfection? Victor's based on Doctor Doom. Now's not a good time. Shine with me. Oh, but my hex tech handler dies. All right, I guess the hex tech handler has to die. I guess. <laughs> All right, that thing's pretty big. Um, but we need another six plus cost spell. Little help. Better, brighter than before. Tomorrow has never looked so good. There's a right Zevi. Okay, so we have a choice to make here. We can, you know, it's basically the, like how much do I really want to go for the um, the S tier rank? I guess oh, time's a consideration also. All right, well, let's just go for this. Like we could have played another quick attack, give us a better chance at hitting life steal. But all right, let's hit life steal. Nope. All right, now one out. You know, any of these five hit life steal? Yes. Both of these two hit life steal. That doesn't really matter. Life steal, life steal. All right, back to thirty. Awesome. So beat it at thirty, so we can get the S rank for the skill. Consortium agrees to further funding of slingshot technology. Alright, so we gain 50 reputation for completing the adventure. A skill for zero deaths. But we had 30 health. Huh. I thought this was going to be, you know, an S skill for, you know, having full health. That's weird. So we got A skill again, and then S speed and S wealth. Huh. I don't really know what else we're supposed to do <laughs> besides that. All right, anyway, Jace is rank up, ready. So, uh, we go into rank number two, begin every adventure with the pickaxe. Okay, so now Jace will just, every adventure in the future, Jace will have a pickaxe. So Jace will be a 6-4. Okay, it looks like, you you know, whenever you get, whenever you play more and more of these um, Path of Champions game modes, you gain reputation at the end. As you saw, we gained 50 reputation for that last one. And you can continue to rank up your champions. Now our Jace will be level 2. Looks like they go to level 22 at the end. Um, you know, so that's that's really cool. So the more you play, the more powerful your champions will be. And so that can help you with the harder difficulties later on. All right. So there we go. That's going to be our uh, Jace level up. So, okay. So, J you know, our level 2 Jace just defeated 
Victor. So now the next boss is for for Jace is um, is Lulu, and so you'd go over and play the Lulu story. Looks like Lulu's level one difficulty, and it you know tells you the different difficulties and stuff. And looks like you could replay Jace, you know, or uh, the Victor, because you know if you want to try to get like the S different skills and everything. So really cool, really cool. All right, and then you know go go through and try to defeat each uh, each boss. Looks like Victor's the final boss, also <laughs> besides the intro boss. All right, so there we go. That's gonna be uh, the prologue for Jace. Um, so those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments and let me know how you are enjoying the Path of Champions game mode, brand new game mode for today. Hopefully y'all are really enjoying it also. Because this has been awesome. You know, all we've done is just two prologues with Jinx and Jace. Maybe we need to go step out and play one of the longer adventures and just see what they're like. That's not just the story, you know, the story mode and everything. But uh, we'll see. But anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you for the next one.